Welcome! Today we are going to talk about Ansible troubleshooting, specifically about uh, the message unknown error while connecting to vCenter or SXI, or SXI API error number minus two, name or service not known, and enable Ansible for VMware. This fatal error message happens when the Ansible controller is not able to connect to your VMware infrastructure. The root cause might be a misspelled host name in your Ansible playbook, a connection problem eventually using a secure VPN connection, or a configuration on the firewall on the target host that doesn't allow the connection. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Demo time, the best way of talking about Ansible troubleshooting is to jump in a live demo to show you practically the unknown error while connecting to vCenter or ASXI API. Error number minus two, name of service not known, and how to solve it. In this demo, I'm going to reproduce the error and fix using the correct VMware host name and verify the network configuration on a demo machine. Are you ready? Let's have a fun! Ready for rock and roll? Welcome to my IDE. Let's start uh, writing Ansible code together. First of all, requirement YML. This is the collection that we need, the declaration in a YAML file. So under the collection list, let me add the name of community.vmware. This is the name of the collection that we would like to download from Ansible Galaxy registry. And that's it. We don't need to add anything more. Now, let's start our Ansible playbook. This is a simple, let's say, hello world playbook. So let's give it a name. The most simpler is for uh, accessing some information about uh, a VM. So info VM demo that is going to target host, local host. We would like to execute uh, this code as uh, the current machine Ansible interpreter. Let me disable the become privilege. We don't need a root privilege for this uh, script. And neither system information, so let's disable also facts gathering. Uh, let's define the namespace of a collection under community.vmware. So it could, we could shorter the name in this playbook. Uh, Pre-task, uh, this is quite useful. Let me include uh, one variable file, in my case, vars.yml. I found more convenient to have a separate file where to store all the sensitive information on my cluster. So the playbook will be more easy to read, especially the task list with only one task named getVMInfo. So we are going to use uh, the VMware underscore get underscore info Ansible module under the community dot VMware collection. Some parameter, let's start with a host name and let me define a variable. This could be very useful for the following lesson using the same variable for different module. So host name will be vcenter underscore host name as well as so username vcenter underscore username and so on and so forth. For password, same story, vcenter underscore password. Don't worry, we will define all these variables together. Just be patient. Uh, what else? Also we need the data center. This is quite important uh, information, no? Okay, great. So Host name is basically the vCenter entry point with username, password. Let's define also the data center if you have more than one. And let me set also the validation of SSL certificate. Let me remind you that the cluster came with a self-signer certificate. So sometimes we need to disable this stuff 
and uh, the virtual machine name. Here we are, done. And what we need, uh, what do we do with this result? Well, we would like to save in an Ansible variable called detail underscore vm underscore info. And let me add another task to print it out on screen. So, what uh, Ansible module? Well, the ansible dot built in dot debug module print information on screen. Let me use the parameter var that define the variable that we would like to display on screen. And we are done. In a simple 23 line of code, we are able to connect Ansible to VMware and get information about a virtual machine. Unbelievable? It is. Okay, uh, inventory, let me define uh, what are the inventory, in my case only localhost, no more parameter needed. And the variable part, of course, uh, we need to define each of these variables with uh, the value. This could be very sensitive information, so I'm going to provide some demo content. So in my case, uh, hostname is vmware.example.com, this is my domain and uh, data center will be VMware data center. Feel free to customize with your real data. vCenter validate underscore cert. In my case, uh, I have cell signer certificate, so let me switch to false. It's better in production environment to have a real certificate. Username will be username at, for example, vSphere.local. This, uh, if you use uh, local authentication or if you have uh, other things, uh, you need to adapt. And the password, this is the most uh, sensitive information. I'm writing some clear text password. This is obviously an example. And VM name is the name of virtual machine. And that's it. As you can see, this is a good approach to separate a variable from the main Ansible playbook. So everything is set it up. This is a simple hello world to demonstrate how to connect to a VMware infrastructure and list the detail of a virtual machine. Let's move on to the terminal. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my Ansible controller via SSH, DevOps is my username and DemoExample.com is my controller. Everything is inside a VMware directory, so if I'm executing Ansible playbook vm underscore info, I'm getting some result. Well, quite unexpected, this fatal error. As you can see, we, we have a perfect reproduced the unknown error while connecting to vCenter or ASXi API. And there is also the full host name. Uh, first things, uh, I need to investigate uh, on the host name. I instantly notice that the host name is misspelled. As you can see, there is a dash that was not in my desired host name. So this is vm-where. My correct host name is vmware. So I need to correct this stuff and I hope it will work. Okay, back on my editor, in the variable YML, the first variable is vCenter's name and as you can see there is a dash here. It's probably only a typo and because everything looks like correct, so probably I did only a typo here and now let's save a file copy to the target host and see if we solve the error. Yay! Now back on my console, let me execute again the same Ansible playbook with ansible-playbook command via info and uh, let's see the result. Well, we still have the same error, but the hostname this time is correct. Let me check it out my connection. It turns out uh, that uh, my VPN connection wasn't completely working 
because uh, I don't want to expose my VMware infrastructure to everybody, especially in this post-pandemic work, uh, working from home. So now let me check it out uh, again uh, with a correct VPN uh, online and oh, drum roll. Oh, it's taking longer, so good sign, which means some uh, data sharing is actually happening. So after just a few seconds of working on, we got the result, the full list of parameters of my, my VM virtual machine. Are you excited? I hope you are. And we solved our unknown error completely. Yay! Now you know better how to troubleshoot the Ansible VMware unknown error while connecting to vCenter or SXI message. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful for you and see us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!